Alright then, god. Moving right along from a scary let's play. God, Slender, why are you so scary? Anyway, let's play something fun. Welcome to Let's Play Tony Hawk's Pro Skater HD. Yeah. A high definition remake of the original Tony Hawk's Pro Skater and Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 games for the PlayStation 1. I've got some great memories of playing the original Tony Hawk's games. Well, technically... Hold on a minute. I'll tell you more about it in just, just a minute. Right, this Let's Play is going to involve me playing through career mode. One specific character's career mode, which I haven't completed yet. I'll show you all the characters first. You've got Tony Hawk, the best skateboarder in the world. Uh, Rodney Mullen. Lindsay Adams Hawkins Pastrana. Eric Costin, Andrew Reynolds, Nigel Houston, Chris Cole, Riley Hawk, that's Tony Hawk's son, Jake Harrison, Emily Westland, Officer Dick, a secret character, uh, ah, the original Tony Hawk's, Orig original Tony Hawk, you saw him in uh, Tony Hawk's 1 and 2, I believe. Well, I know he definitely appears in Tony Hawk's 2, because I played the hell out of Tony Hawk's 2. Ollie the Magic Bum, I'll tell you more about him later. Ah, Roberto Modo, a new secret character. Oh, I've got no idea who that is. Anyway, we're going to play as Lindsay Adams Hawkins Pastrana. Let me just change her special tricks. Uh, right, clear that slot. This makes things so much easier. Because I must say, I think the only thing I don't like about this game is the dodgy controls. That's the only thing I dislike about this game. The dodgy controls. Everything else about the game is good. I mean, surprisingly, the game got really, really bad reviews. Well, I wouldn't say really, really bad reviews, but... Mixed reviews, shall we say. Mixed reviews. I think it's alright. But I think m much of the game's um, negativity came from the, the dodgy controls and whatnot. And they're saying that if you've never played the original Tony Hawk's games, then you shouldn't play this. I think you should, to be honest. And as you can see, each character has their own stats, which you can upgrade using money. And you earn money by completing various goals. Just in case you didn't know. Right, we'll start off in Warehouse. For you newbies, this is what I have to do. These are my goals. They're slightly different in each level. In each level, you have to score a high score, a pro score, and a six score and find the secret DVD and collect SKATE, the SKATE letters, S-K-A-T-E. And in each level you've got to find five different collectibles and p perform various other tasks as well, relevant to the level. You might have also noticed that the music is turned off to avoid copyright issues. And I'll tell you more about my playing history of the Tony Hawk series. I've only played Tony Hawk's 1 and 2. Sorry, that's a lot of bullshit. I played at Tony Hawk's 2 and 3, sorry. Um, I played the hell out of Tony Hawk's 2. I've actually got a copy. A copy of it. For the PS1. I'm a fucking god at the game. I only played Tony Hawk's 3. Very briefly. That's a load of shit. I only played Tony Hawk's 3 very briefly and I was really bad at the game. I'll just turn up the volume. But I played the hell out of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. I managed to complete every single skater's career by 100%. Including the secret skaters. They're just fucking around now. You need to go... You've beaten the 6th score. Now you need to go for the letters and shit. Yep, even the secret skaters. I bet the secret skaters career is by 100% as well. And I even found every single gap in Tony Hawk's 2. Come on, man. You can tell that I really need to update my stats. Such as my uh, spin speed and whatnot. I'm gonna grind another quarter pipe. I'm probably wondering why I chose a female character instead of a male character. Well. I must say, I prefer the uh, regular skating stance to the goofy stance, and Lindsay here, she uses the regular stance, not the goofy stance. 
which is what I prefer. I prefer the regular stance. I've tried skateboarding in real life myself, and I think I'm... I'm regular. And if you've got no idea what the difference between goofy and regular is, well... Regular is where you've got your left foot at the front of the board, and goofy is where you've got your right foot at the front of the board. So I think I'm regular. Secret DVD. No. Of course, in the original games, it was the secret tape, not the secret DVD. Oh, God. How technology has changed these days. So I was just larking about around while talking there. I often tend to lark around when I'm talking too much. As you can see, the more goals you complete, the more levels you unlock. And they also unlock various skateboards for your particular character as well. So what am I meant to be doing? Smash five sets of boxes. Now the cash icons that you're seeing floating about, you know, the $50, $100, and in later levels, $250. Once you've picked them up, they're saved. Unlike the other objectives, like smashing the, the boxes and collecting the shipping manifests. You have to collect them all in one run. You know, in, in two minutes, okay? Sounds simple, but sometimes it's not. Not so easy. Another reason I chose uh, Lindsay is because, well, she's an all-round skater. Some skaters um, do well in vert, because this, this is a vert level right here. And some skaters do well in uh, street levels. I believe uh, School 2 is a street level. But Lindsay here is all round. Another reason is... Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, you can tell that I really need to upgrade my stats. Or is that just me being a clumsy little shit? What a bit of both. Right, you gotta grind these small quarter pipes as well. How come that only gave me one? Try this one. Okay, nothing. Let's see. For these goals you have to you actually have to land and not bail if you want to get the credit for the goal. And Lindsay, apparently, she's quite possibly the best female skateboarder in the world at the moment. I need to do a wally to get that one. I might look as though I, re I really suck at the moment, but nah. I just need to upgrade my stats, that's all. So, don't hate me because I suck. There you go, that's the secret DVD, alright. And the dark slide, that's a special grind trick. And that's a special fuck up trick right there. Ah, see. Only had one more shipping manifest to collect them, there's one on the wall. Ah, kickflip over the pipe, keep forgetting to do that. Do I need to smash the boxes as well? Yeah, I do. Right, grind this quarter pipe. Can I get the credit for it? No, I don't. Try grinding across the whole thing. That might work. That's it. That's more like it. That's the old pepper. Yeah, that cash icon was bothering me as well. Like I said, once you pick up a cash icon, it's safe. Safe. Get your fucking English together. There you go. Ah, that one is such a bitch. Such a biatch. One more set of boxes. Sorry, two more sets of boxes to smash. Do you not fucking read? Where'd you go to school? The school for the brain dead. Alright. I'll say, if there's any young skateboarders watching this playthrough, I'm gonna say, yeah, go for it. Be yourself. I mean, I think Lindsay here, I think she won her first gold at the age of 14. I think. Or is it 17? I can't actually remember. And one final reason as to why I'm controlling a girl. Um... I'm just trying to show that, um... Well, girls can skateboard as well. I think there are a lot of guys out there who don't actually like... Um... They don't actually like it when girls skateboard, mainly because they don't like it when girls get hurt. I mean, I agree, I, d I don't like seeing girls getting hurt either. But come on, that doesn't mean they can't skate. One more 
a piece of shit shipping manifest. Where is it? Oh, I've gone and lost it now. That's wonderful. I'm not going to give up. Yes, I am. <laughs> Where was it? You didn't do very well with that, bollocks, did you? 